Now, you brought some other things in here. I want to make sure we talk about it before. Sure. Now, now, this is a, I'm just going to pick this up sure. because uh, maybe you can kind of heavy me. there. So, well, uh, And what is this? This is a um, hand-built model. Hand-built? Yes. Yeah. Of a particular type of trolley car called a Bernie that was in, uh, that operated in Connecticut. And we do have one in our collection. Mm. Um, and it's, it's really, it's a beautiful model just sort of showing how the cars operate. You know, they, they get their power from the overhead wire. So they have uh, the trolley poles on top that ride along the wire. And then when it gets to the end of the line, they put one down and then they put the other one up. It trails. Very so, interesting. Yeah. Now, there's another picture coming up on the monitor and we can talk about this. I just want to put that down sure. gently. And perhaps you can tell us what's going on in this particular picture. Oh, okay. Actually, those are folks getting uh, ready to board the car at our station, at Sprague Station, to go down to Pumpkin Patch on a beautiful oh. autumn day. So he's punching uh, the tickets. And now, that's a nice experience. To... Now, um, that's a nice experience. And then um, Scott just told me that the car in front of it is this one I was just holding, uh, showing? An it example. is a similar car. What you're seeing is the same colors. It's a Connecticut company car. Oh, so they're I the, see. the yellow cars. They're very recognizable. That particular one in the background there is our party car, which is Your available at yes, private charters. So we have a lot of birthday parties. All ages enjoy parties on the trolley. And uh, oh. it's got long oh. seats instead of the seats being sideways the seats are long ways and we have tables we can put in and uh, people really enjoy that and it's it's really sweet because the um, you get your own private trolley car for yes, a that, few hours yeah, and what a, what a nice experience sure. to have it's from your average regular birthday Different. party and it's a good value compared to some of the other you know places that you could have parties and of course a lot of parents really enjoy not having the party at home yes when you have a lot of kids i mean i think about 40 people or so you can wow. have in the car. So you, you know. And it's also nice to be supporting the trolley museum. Oh. You know, that's that's a nice place to know where, that's nice to know that's where your money is going. Yeah, a, a community thing. We're, we're, we're blessed to be part of two towns. We're actually, the museum building is in East Haven, and then you just go over the river, which is right outside the museum, and we're in Branford. That was interesting when you told me that. So two towns yeah. are involved in supporting the museum. Yeah. We try and be involved uh, as much as we can. We're involved with the uh, Chambers of Commerce, both towns, also Greater New Haven, you know, the region. There's the regional uh, tourism councils that yes. we take part in, you know, promotions and things like that. Um, you know, tourism is very important to the state of Connecticut. Yes, and, yes. And um, and that's in any economy, up or down. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it is important to support uh, your local places, such as the trolley it museum. Is. It really and, is, and it is important for from that aspect. But it's hugely significant for the child to invest in the education of learning the history. Absolutely. So really, now the other. I want to mention before we uh, run out of time. Well, first of all, on the back wall there, you have a, a pendant. Yes. And I know from being a classroom teacher, children love to go buy something. They love yes. to bring something oh, back. Oh, you have to have a little something to bring home. You have Always. to. You just yes. have to. And so a, a pendant is absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. to have, so that especially since um, boys can. Um, boys can bring it back and through the magic of TV I'm just gonna have you pull that and we're gonna hold this up and um, this is this is great and this I noticed is a price tag on it a dollar seventy five not a whole lot of places you can go and buy something to bring home for that price. A dollar so. <laughs> seventy-five value I, to be had at the I, trolley I would, and trolley I would get more than one. Well, you'd give them to friends. Yes, <laughs> but then you know this would be great on a boy's sure bedroom would. wall sure and would. a girl's too. Sure. And it's not going to break the bank. A dollar seventy-five. I think one of the nice things uh, about the trolley museum um, is that it's still an affordable family excursion. Yes. It's um, 
you know, you can you can come there once and, and you don't feel like, wow, we spent so much money and it you know, cost us a fortune, that kind of thing. And you can feel comfortable going again. Well, let's do that again, you know, and let's bring the kids. Or it's Mother's Day and we had moms ride free on Mother's Day. And, and really? A lot of, oh, How nice. It was wonderful. A lot of people took advantage of that and it was great to see people, you know. Yes. We'll be doing that for fathers on Father's Day and now also Grandparents' Day. That's, do mother-in-laws ride free? If mother-in-law's a mom, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. There you go. <laughs> So, okay. you know, it, it's nice. It's it's affordable. And then we also have memberships if people want to support the museum at a slightly higher level. And there are benefits to the memberships as well. And we always have um, membership forms available at mm -hmm. our station. Now, some other things that you have, I noticed that, oh, I'm just going to put this down. Sure. This is adorable. This is a magnet yes. that can go in the refrigerator. Yes, yep. And um, it's a... It, could you describe it? Because I think it's hard for the camera. To it's get in out. relief, so so it's somewhat three D, and it's one of our one of the cars in our collection coming coming out toward you on the track. Well, this is this is really great. Now I also noticed that you have some books that, and I I found in the past I tried to do. Um, a search in our school library about trolleys and because I found that my children really didn't have an understanding what trolleys were and this is this is actually the first book I've ever seen directed trolleys. toward children yeah that's wonderful yes it and really you have is some totally history of it and yeah we have this one in particular New Haven streetcars I mean we're talking not not just New Haven but the you know region um, put together by a number of members from our museum mm -hmm. and the photos you know showing the area uh, as it was when the streetcars were you know being used on a daily basis so there's a tremendous amount of history and we get frequently we'll get people who will come up to us and say oh I remember that store and my my father worked here and my mother worked there and they used to take me down you know to such and such corner and we'd go for ice cream that's oh, wonderful. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Now, there, when I was with you, we went back and I saw an exhibit, a Frank Sprague exhibit. Yes. Who is that? Yes. Um, an inventor. The inventor of uh, the electric traction, uh, which is the, the way that the trolleys are powered, basically. And uh, really, um, on par with Edison, as far as inventions go. That's what you told me. Thing is, he never patented, I guess that's the word, his inventions. So his name is not as well known. But the very interesting thing about it, where did the man live? In Milford, Connecticut. He was from Milford, Connecticut. So this is a local inventor who Hero. had impact on on uh, an incredible uh, number of things. I mean, transportation, mass transportation. He invented, I believe, technology um, called MU multiple units. So you know how you see trains that are hooked together? Uh, well, this is so interesting. And there's an exhibit at the Trolley Museum yes, that exhibit. talks about this. And I think when you mention it's on the par with Einstein, Einstein Edison, Edison yeah, yeah. that um, that's a that's a huge comparison. We're running out of time, and I just wanted to mention that you do have something called a guest operator for the trolley where adults can go and drive a trolley. Yeah. That is on my list of things to do before <laughs> I die. We'll definitely get you yes. hooked up with I that. I definitely want to do that before I die. And I have a few more years. But this has been wonderful and you're a fabulous guest. This is a wonderful place to go. It was a lot of fun. And I would uh, I would tell people if they want to know for more information, they can easily Google the Shoreline Trolley Museum on the web, or you can contact me at jmdteach at comcast.net or www.wiseworkshops.com. This is a wonderful activity to do with the children this summer. It's a year-round activity to do with the children, and I don't think they'll be disappointed. No, I'm sure they won't. Thank you so much for Thank coming Thank you so on the much, show. Jan. It was a lot of fun. Terrific.